It is, perhaps, not all that surprising that the onset of the bear market and all the general doom and gloom caused by terrorist collapse has forced many crypto companies onto the defensive. Now, when a company says it's looking to cut costs or streamline its operations, that's usually code for firing people. When times are good, they can't hire fast enough, and when times turn bad, people get the boot. Now, there's no crypto company more recognizable than Coinbase, and it was in the headlines for all the wrong reasons last week when it announced a freeze on hiring for the foreseeable future. What was infinitely worse, however, was the fact that it rescinded job offers made to a number of people, effectively firing them before they'd even started work. Many had rejected offers from elsewhere, or in one case at least, the offer to take up a PhD. And at least one disappointed employee-to-be also found his US visa imperiled as a result of Coinbase's decision. And this from a company that went public not so long ago and was the one-time darling of the crypto industry. How times change. Now, the bad news didn't stop there. Coinbase's rival, Gemini, is cutting 10% of its staff, while down in Mexico, the Bitso exchange also announced layoffs. And then Robinhood, another company with deep ties to crypto, waved around 9% of its employees goodbye back in April. Belts are being tightened in anticipation of a potentially long crypto winter. And the clearout isn't confined to crypto either, and some of the biggest names in tech have also been shedding staff as inflation and interest rates go up and people begin to talk about the possibility of a global recession. So this is yet more bad news, and your reaction to hearing it may be to assume the worst. However, as much as it sucks to hear of people losing their jobs, it doesn't mean the end for crypto. Many have pointed out that there were layoffs the last time we went into a bear market back in 2018, and how they were much more severe. Companies are basically doing what they have to do to survive, and it is likely there'll be more job losses in many corners of the crypto industry. We're entering a period of consolidation, and it should also be noted that not everyone is triggering the ejector seat. For instance, FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried has announced that his exchange intends to continue growing, while Binance is also reportedly still hiring too. Reports from crypto-focused recruiters also indicate that not only are people still queuing up to work in the industry, but there are still plenty of openings too, and not just for developers. So it would seem that perhaps those companies which look to expand too quickly and splash the cash when the going was good are the ones that have now been forced to retrace a bit. Yes, growth is good, but sustainable, responsible growth is arguably better, especially when you know that good times don't last forever and that bad times must be endured before the party starts up again. So don't be tempted to think that the reports we've heard of job losses indicate an entire industry going to the wall. Far from it. Crypto is rebalancing itself and preparing to focus on building and evolving in a hype-free environment. Those companies and projects that do it well will be the behemoths of the next bull market. So folks, which ones do you think will go public in 2024?